Atlanta Cam Zabrin Moore, your conference champion, 113 pounds. Zabrin, senior year, and you're able to get that elusive conference title. Just what's it mean? It means a lot. Uh, I've been working for this all four years. I went second, third, and second. So it feels really good to get stay on top. How much of those prior results and being so close, how much has that motivated you? A lot. A lot. I really wanted to get it, especially with being a senior. You know, I had one last shot, and it, it just kind of fueled my fire all the way. Seems like you're really starting to wrestle well when it matters most here. Um, what's been the secret for you? Just mentality, you know. I've, I've been putting in the work all, all my high school career. I just kind of decided... I, I deserve it more than anyone else, so that's, that's what I've been doing. Postseason beginning next week, I know you would love to get to Des Moines. Um, how do you attack these next couple weeks? I'm just going to work harder than anyone else in the room and harder than anyone else in the state of Iowa. Do you have any particular goals in mind? State champ. Jonathan Earp of Red Oak gets the championship at 120 pounds of the Hawkeye 10 Conference Tournament today. John, it's your second title, but what does it mean getting this one in front of your home crowd? It means a lot, actually. Um, I never thought we were going to have it at home. It actually got canceled last year. We are supposed to have it here. And I didn't do so good last year, but this year was more of a redemption year, coming back, trying to get as much as I can in. You won it as a freshman, came up short your sophomore and junior years. Now you win it as a senior. What does it mean to get back? I'm sure when you won it as a freshman, you, you probably had prospects of doing this four times. It didn't go that way, but what does it mean? Uh, it means a big deal to me. I mean, I was a little upset last two years. Um, getting up in the third, I believe, was last year. But this year was a big upset for Benjamin, which I was happy about. <laughs> um, being able to wrestle him again is pretty fun. Last time I didn't get to wrestle him at a duel, so... It's good competition. I don't know that I'd call it an upset. You beat him last year in districts. You hadn't seen each other this year. He came in highly ranked. You got the best of him in that semifinal match. Just take us through that match. A wild one for sure. My main focus against him was keeping my hands and feet moving. Uh, he's a wild kid. He likes to move fast. It, um, my feet were a little slow during that match, I, I feel like, personally. But ended up getting the win, moving my hands a lot, and... He's just grabbing him as much as I can, holding him down. How about your finals match against Luke Musich of Harlan? What did you do really well in that? I felt like I stayed in my position very well at the beginning. Um, he took a good shot, and I managed to down block it. But other than that, it was more of a try it out muscle him. That's what really happened. You got on the medal stand last year at State. I'm sure that's a goal of yours this year as well. How do you try to attack these next couple weeks? My goal is to push myself harder than I do in the weight room and running at practice. Um, my, hopefully my goal is to make it in the top five at state and push myself, see if I'm how far I can go up. Lewis Central's Brian Paul, your champion, 132 pounds. Uh, Brian, you sure made it interesting. Just your thoughts on today and how does it feel? Felt like I wrestled great, got my diet under control, and just had a game plan, and I won it get the conference championship. Uh, I'm sure that was a goal of yours. What's that mean? It means a lot. I've been working for this since freshman year. Came up short last year and I wanted, and I wanted it this year. Had a couple of really entertaining matches. Um, that finals match with Garen Worcester of Creston came down to sudden victory. Just kind of walk us through sudden victory. Um, I knew he was getting tired. I was frustrating him. I had a shot there and I took it. I had to finish. What were some of the things you felt like you did really well today? I felt like I uh, frustrated him. Couldn't, I didn't let him get to my legs. Got an escape on bottom. Now I got the takedown in overtime. Looking ahead, um, what are some things you'd like to maybe improve on going forward? Uh, get some more attacks going on my feet. Work on bottom. And then make the state in place. State. Yeah, postseason coming up. Um, talk a little bit more about your goals. Uh, I want to win districts, place at state. That's about it. Crestory Maxburg, Sam Chapman takes home the Hawkeye 10 title at 195. Sam, I'm sure it's got to sound really good. Just your thoughts on tonight? Uh, I felt like I wrestled pretty well today. I uh, kind of took a hard loss Thursday night, and I came back stronger and hopefully carry that out the rest of the season. Yeah, what were some of the things you did really well today? 
Um, I made sure to get on my offense, taking shots, not being nervous. When I get nervous, I kind of shut down. So that was just my whole kind of thing is not get nervous and take as many shots as I could. I know, as you said, a loss Thursday, but you had a dominant showing last week at John Jay, dominant showing today. Do you feel like you're starting to turn the corner at the right time? Uh, yeah, I definitely feel like I'm finishing. I want to finish out on top everything, sectionals, district, state. I'm shooting for the top, nothing the less. Conference championship, I know Creston's used to them, but this team not so much. It's been a couple of years. What does it mean to get that conference title? Uh, it feels amazing to get that conference title back. We've been chasing it year. We're just come short every year, and this year we are just kept doing it. We even did it without a 220-pounder. Looking ahead to the postseason, I know you've got high expectations for yourself, um, but what are they and how do you try to attack these next couple weeks? Um, my goals are to be at the top of the podium at the end of the year. I'm just going to keep working hard. Jackson and I really get after it in the room. We work hard. Loudon, he helps us out with stuff we need to fix. We're just kind of a tight-knit group, and we work what we need to work and get after each other. Yeah, you mentioned Jackson Kinsella having a great year at 182 as well. So what's kind of the chemistry like with you guys in the mat room? It seems like it's transitioned well out into tournaments. Uh, yeah, we just we push each other in the room. We've been partners for three years now, I think, and we just constantly, last year, I mean, last year we were dogs, fight it out, you know. In the, mat, in the room, you fight it out, and then after afterwards, you're buddies and everything like that, and that's just kind of how we play it. You know, you get mad at each other in the room sometimes, but it just all works out in the end. We, what do you want to work on going forward? Um, just making sure I'm not getting nervous and shooting shots, keeping my feet moving. If I do that, I think I should be able to finish pretty high. All right, Coach, um, Creston back on top of the Hawkeye 10. Um, you guys kind of controlled the 2010s, and now you start off the 2020s with a conference title. Um, this is one that I think maybe came in really wide open. You guys coming out on top, just your thoughts? I'm just proud of the team. I don't think anybody would probably have said we'd have a chance to be in this position earlier in the year. So um, kids bought into what we're doing in the room every night and a uh, really hardworking group. You know, it can be a roller coaster ride when you have uh, as many young guys in the lineup as we have. But uh, it's been a, it's been a fun uh, fun couple of weeks here. So they, you just start, you can just see them starting to believe every night. Yeah, you probably said it best. I think in December, if I don't know that people would have picked you guys to win it. I, I know even this week, I I didn't have you guys winning it, but you're able to. What's that say about your guys' team and the progression you've made? I just think it says a lot about our kids. Our kids are uh, believing what we're preaching every night in the room, and and our staff. Uh, i got a great staff that works with them every night, so I just think it, it just talks about what we're doing in the room every night, and everybody's on the same page. Jackson and Sam take home titles, but you guys got a lot of points on the backside as well. I'm sure you got to be really happy with that. Yeah, I mean, what wins tournaments is those guys on the backside. The guys you can't lay down, you fight for every point, you pick up your teammates. We had a guy go down at 220 today, so I knew we had to have every point was even more important on the backside today um, to pick up some points for Andy there. And, and then, yeah, Sam and, and uh, Jackson continued to, to impress us there in the finals, and we just got to stay focused and take it one match at a time here the rest of the way. You started the, the conference dual season with a loss to Atlantic. Then you rallied off nine in a row, created a three-way tie. You've had some big dual wins over like Winter said and other teams. So, and plus today and other showings, are you starting to feel like maybe you guys are wrestling your best when it matters most? I hope so. I mean, that's the, that's the goal. That's why we train the way we do and, and uh, you know, do a lot of two-a-days, a lot of things that the kids probably don't like to do, but there's, there's a reason for it. And I think maybe they're starting to see that now. And, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with where we're at, but there's a lot of work left to do the next few weeks. This is a program that's been really accustomed to winning conference titles, a little bit of a, a dry spell there. But what's it mean for the, the program to get back on top? I, I, you know, uh, it just kind of shows, hey, the, the bar isn't lower, the standards haven't changed. We expect to be right here where we're at today and, and uh, every year. It's just uh, buy into what we're doing and, and uh, everybody on the same page. and. I think uh, wrestling's alive and well in Creston, and, and uh, we want to keep it that way. Congratulations, Coach. Hey, thanks a lot.